Make sure y'all know I'm back on the screen. Look at the back. You know, look, come over here and tell us more about it. Come on, come on, tell us more about it. We're going to have to go to the We're going to have to go to the show. We're going to have to go to what happens when a hip-hop mogul's world comes crashing down? When fortune and influence are overshadowed by allegations and scandal? This is the foreshorn Diddy Combs, a name synonymous with hip-hop and a figure who's been at the forefront of the music industry for over 30 years. This week, the homes of Combs in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by federal agents as part of an ongoing investigation. Here's to more details on this ongoing and what the true issues are. The agents from Homeland Security Investigations didn't reveal the specifics of the case, including whether Combs himself was a target or the nature of the criminal charges under investigation. However, it's known that Combs, also known as Puff Daddy or Diddy, has faced multiple civil lawsuits over recent months, accusing him of sexual assault and sex trafficking. The criminal inquiry is being conducted by federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York and federal agents with Homeland Security. While spokespersons for Combs and the Southern District declined to comment, Homeland Security did release a statement. The statement confirmed that agents from New York had executed law enforcement actions as part of the ongoing investigation, with assistance from their counterparts in Los Angeles, Miami, and local law enforcement partners. The raids mark a shocking turn in the career of Combs, who is not just a producer, but also a label executive and occasional rapper. He's been one of the most influential figures in the music business over the last 30 years, playing a crucial role in the transformation of hip-hop into a global commercial force. Combs has crafted hits and larger-than-life personas for rap and R&B performers like the Notorious Big. And Mary J. Blige. He's also made smash hits himself like I'll Be Missing You from 1997, a tribute to the notorious Big after his killing in a drive-by shooting. Yet Combs' career has been shadowed by accusations of violence for decades. In November, he was sued for sexual assault by Cassandra Ventura, his former girlfriend and performer signed to his label, Bad Boy, under the name Cassie. In her suit, Ventura accused Combs of forcing her to engage in sexual activity with male prostitutes over several years, making her a victim of sex trafficking. This lawsuit, settled in just one day, drew international attention and threatened the business brand Combs had built over many years. Despite the settlement, more cases followed, each one casting a longer shadow over the legacy of this hip-hop mogul. In summary, Combs, a powerful figure in the music industry, is now under investigation with his homes raided by federal agents. He's been accused of sexual assault and sex trafficking in several civil lawsuits, allegations that have tainted his reputation and put his influential career under scrutiny. This ongoing saga serves as a stark reminder that even those at the very top are not immune from the reach of the law. As we delve deeper into this ongoing saga, it becomes clear that the accusations against Combs are just the tip of the iceberg. The music industry is rife with allegations of abuse and exploitation, with countless victims often too afraid to come forward. While Combs' case has garnered significant media attention, it is not an isolated incident. This is a systemic issue that requires a collective effort to address, and it is our hope that by shedding light on these stories, we can help initiate meaningful change. We urge everyone to stay informed and vigilant, and to speak up against any form of exploitation. Stay tuned, as we continue to follow this story closely. Tonight, ...including Diddy's whereabouts. TMZ is reporting he was seen at a high-end executive airport in Miami pacing while the raids were going on. Today, I spoke with criminal defense attorney by Yoji Akingbola of the Akingbola Law Firm to gain more perspective on this situation. Obviously, this is a crazy case. We have Homeland Security raiding multiple homes of P. Diddy at the same time. What does that tell us? Well, for one, in order for Homeland Security to even be able to enter into someone's home, that means that there was a federal court judge who signed off on a search warrant to search for the home, mm -hmm. which means that at the very least there's probable cause to indicate there's some reason to believe that there's an evidence of a federal co crime inside those two households. And I know they've hit Miami, Los Angeles, and we saw 
some of his sons in handcuffs. That doesn't necessarily mean they're being arrested, though, right? Yes, absolutely not. Uh, it could be some form of detainment, um, especially when you're involving law enforcement officers entering into a household. That's a lot of unknown variables. They want to make sure that they're safe. So if there's people that happen to be inside the home, you want to make sure that they're detained and secure so the officers can do their job freely without any concern or anything happening while they're uh, conducting their search. And, of course, we haven't heard or seen Diddy at all in any of these raids, any... Well, we haven't heard or seen Diddy in these raids, but I think uh, it's important to look at the history of how we got here. Mm -hmm. um, there have been several civil lawsuits uh, detailing accusations of human trafficking, um, the use of illicit drugs, uh, non-consensual sex um, with those sex workers, and it appears that it seems as though federal law enforcement officers have been paying attention to those lawsuits and want to do some poking around to see if there's any uh, evidence that these uh, accusations are actually give rise to federal crimes. And of course, when you look at civil lawsuits, you think it's civil, but federal investigators or law enforcement simply can't ignore, you know, these major allegations of sex rings and drug trafficking. So they had to take some action. Absolutely. And uh, we're seeing this trend where civil lawsuits are giving rise to uh, criminal investigations. We've seen that with Jeffrey Epstein. We've seen that with Harvey Weinstein. We've seen that with R. Kelly. Where there's smoke, sometimes law enforcement officers believe there's fire. And uh, based upon some of the empirical evidence, sometimes that happens to be true. So it appears that, you know, this is a very well-known person. Uh, he's well-known in, in Hollywood, so this is going to be a big case for federal law enforcement officers. Now, we got here where it began with Cassie Ventura, the ex-girlfriend, right? Yes. What happened in that case when she filed a civil lawsuit, not criminal? So she filed a civil lawsuit uh, detailing uh, that she was uh, sometimes forced to have sex with uh, sex workers uh, while being drugged. And as soon as that lawsuit came out, they quickly settled. That's not an admission of guilt, um, but certainly uh, there was reason to settle. Mm -hmm. After that happened, there was a string of other lawsuits that came out. At least three other uh, women also made similar accusations of having sex with se sex workers, being drugged. And that led to the most bombshell case, which was actually by a former producer on Diddy's album, The Love Album. Okay. Uh, his name was Rodney Jones. And he not only made those accusations, but he also uh, had his form of receipts. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't necessarily know if those receipts are uh, accurate. Uh, they, haven't been, um, they haven't been proven in court. Right. But he, he provided pictures in his, in his lawsuit detailing that P. Diddy and his children, his sons, uh, were having uh, sex parties with underage sex workers that oftentimes people were drugged, that he himself was drugged and woke up in the bed of sex workers and Diddy, um, detailing that P. Diddy usually would record these um, incidents, which is another reason why law enforcement officers may be interested in uh, looking into these homes. Um, sexual assault cases can be very difficult difficult to prove. Mm -hmm. Human trafficking cases can be difficult to prove. And the way law enforcement officers typically try to prove those cases is by looking into cell phone data, video footage. Uh, in the uh, lawsuit, which was a 75-page lawsuit, uh, Mr. Jones detailed that P. Diddy often would record these uh, acts on his own cell phone as well as hidden cameras uh, throughout the house. So do we think uh, an arrest is any time close or soon? Or are they just gathering evidence at this point? At this point, it's too soon to uh, speculate as to whether or not anyone will be arrested. This seems to be an investigatory measure. Um, if there is enough evidence in those homes, um, then certainly we could expect an arrest uh, sometime down the road.